Hey, what's up, yo? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Listen, I told y'all I was going to do this. Yes, I put my glasses on and shit so I can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, listen, man. I told y'all that I was that I was going to record as soon as I wake up from returning. Um, and I pop up and my eyes open and I was here. I was going to record. Okay. This is what I told you. And well, anyway, well, um, Let me share with y'all something. Um, you guys, when you travel, you guys are traveling in orbs. So listen, when you see an orb, I'm talking about a real legitimate one. If you actually see one, shoot across your eyes. Or shoot across, of, hell, shoot across the sky. Just a little white ball that's a uh that's a traveler man <laughs> listen look listen let me tell you something look i don't have any physical proof of what i'm saying right now no physical proof at all but what i can tell you is i've been traveling in this bubble since 2001 you see so it's a legit it's legitimate it's legitimate for real if you know if you know how to get inside this bubble you know what i'm saying you you're gonna have to go inside your mind and then just pay attention pay attention to what's floating around it when you close your eyes pay attention to what's floating around inside of your uh inside of your mind when your eyes is closed you got to pay attention to that man okay when your mind is uh when your uh eyes is closed Pay attention to what's floating around. If nothing is floating around in your eye, don't worry about it. Okay? Because you you don't got no ship to go to. <laughs> Basically. Or, you know, I don't know. You know, you just got to keep on doing it and keep believing that, um, that this is happening to you. Because, see, you really don't know if it's happening or not. You see? But the more you believe in this the stronger it get and the more that you see. But see, what's happening is you bear witness to things that's, that's already here, but at the same time, they are done. It's finished. A lot of stuff out here is already finished. So this is how you know that um, it's a legitimate world because you're in the same world. Like right now, there's something that needs to be done out here tomorrow or on this day however it may be or in the world but on the other side on the other side that stuff is actually done but it's not done to where you can walk and see these things when i say it's done i mean it's done because it's in you and you know actually the problem of what exists in the living you see you know the problem you see and you can share these things with other people and oftentimes those same people they they have been traveling too you see but see you gotta be careful because a lot of people they'll start talking about what they read in books you see or what someone taught them or who was there before them you have to pay attention to yourself you have to pay attention to yourself because see listen these people on the outside, they don't know who your mother and your father met in their lifetime. They don't know who who your great-grandmother and great-grandfather met in their lifetime. This is the portal that you're going through. You're going through those eyes. Let me tell you something. You're going through those eyes because, see, this year and the years beyond, the answers are there or inside of them. You see, the answers are inside of those who came before you, you see, and you can track that medium. See, it's like you're an engine, man. You're an engine, and those, that past and that future are just wings, man. They're wings. They're wings to your understanding, man. They're wings, man. I mean, and both of them work together. 
You know, if it was an airplane, both of them would have fuel in them. You see. Um. You see, listen, I, I know a lot of you all. Yeah, you know, saying I, I know it, and some of this stuff is is basically um, a lot of this stuff is is basically. Listen, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We have so many names for this shit. Everybody want to call it something, but um, you, you gotta try to understand something, man. This, this stuff right here, is it's not, it's not game, it's not for games, man. I'm telling you, it's not for games because if you slip, if you slip, you gonna come back. You're going to come back, you're going to wake up, but you're going to, you're not going to be the same, okay? Put it like that, you're not going to be the same. And those whom you have visited that you may or may not remember, they have followed you. You understand? They followed you. And the reason why they followed you, to protect you. Listen, these are your appointees that you were born with. These beings you know what I'm saying like I guess it's three or four of them and they always appointed to you you see uh because well I see I don't know I don't know if they are appointed to certain people I don't know you see see I you got to understand something peoples just because a person is the same color as you and you have yes I did say color skin color just because they have the same color of you don't I mean as you don't mean they are of you. You understand what I'm saying? Don't mean they're of you. You see? And and that I guess that's what we're getting stuck on. I guess as uh, you know, a lot of us are getting stuck on on this uh oh well, uh oh. Uh oh. There's something in here with me. Wait a minute, y'all. Y'all just didn't have made me look around in the shadows right here. Shit, you know, you know me. I'm going to show you. There you go. Oh, shit, I can't point my finger. Look, my head is right here. Now, go up to around about 3 o'clock. 4 all the way to 2 o'clock and look in that whole space. You see that solid image right there? Whatever that shit is. I don't know what that is, y'all. That's mind you, it's behind me, so. And it's not my headboard. Here's my headboard right here. But anyway, I'm getting off track. I ain't scared of that shit. Y'all be tripping sometimes, man. Y'all be scared of the boogeyman's and the demons and shit. <laughs> I ain't scared of none of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I go down there in these ditches. I go down in these ditches so often, man. You know they, you know they're like, they just move right out. They just only only thing they want to know is how in the hell you get that light down there. That's all they want to know. And so they play with you, taunt you, and, and and try to jump on you and stuff. And you just keep going. You know, in your head, you already then created a perimeter that's so powerful but this power that you created that you created to go to be around that perimeter i don't know listen look look see i don't even know how to word these things man because everything happened close to spontaneously over the years and they became sealed in me and it's like it, I'm just doing a lot of stuff subconsciously. I mean, it's conscious, but, you know, the order is coming subconsciously. It's subconscious movement. You see, it's like I know how I've been there already. I already know what uh, what to do and how to act. You see, they don't, know, they don't fear me. You see, they just want to know, want to get close. They want me to talk <laughs> because I can, you see. I can, you see, only if you want me to go down there to uh, somewhere, only thing you got to do is ask me, just ask me, you know, just call, call the name that my father gave me, just say Jerry, um, man, won't you go down somewhere with me, man, or go down by yourself somewhere, you just take my face, man, just go down there and just, 
and just see this problem, see what's in there. And I do it. I'll do it for you. But you gotta, I don't know. It's so hard to tell people or to share certain things. You can't share your, you can't share your skills with people nowadays. You can't share it because people don't believe in you. If anything, they'll kill your motherfucking ass for talking like you got some type of super duper powers and shit. And it's not even that you got powers. You don't have shit. You just you just heightened your senses. Your senses fucking work. That's all that shit. <laughs> your senses close to common. It used to be common. Those things that used to be common, they work. You know what I mean? It ain't that you got superpowers or that you special. Your shit work. You know what I'm saying? You haven't been tainted out here for over 17 years or damn near 20 years. You ain't, ain't nothing touched you. For 17 to 20 years, not a damn thing out here touched you. You see? You're literally a virgin. You're reborn out this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing touched you. You see? And that's why a lot of times the physical don't want to get close to you, but the spiritual, man, they, as soon as you come through, they see, you don't see shit until they get close. <laughs> right. You don't see nothing until they get close to you. And that's the only thing that frightens you because these people faces are distorted. That's it. Because everything is in a wave, like you're inside of some frequencies and shit. You see, and everything is just distorted, you know, wiggling around, moving around and shit. If you some type of freaky deaky or freak person with a freaky nature, you don't even want to dabble inside of yourself. You might as well just stay out here and live your life like everybody else and die. You see what I'm saying? Because you fucking with that rim right there to eat your ass up. So you can't be a freak or you can't have freaky deaky things in your mind going into that rim because they'll eat you alive. You see, you see what I'm saying? Because they know you. You have to be like a, you have to know that you ain't nothing but light, light and energy and power, you see? And that's what they're attracted to. These are does and deers down there in a minute.